Stay on the black land and pull up the What's your name, ma'am? Okay, this is case number 2304487, people of the state of Michigan versus Geraldine Johnson. Appearances, please. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Sarah Bonoma on behalf of the people, P84189. Okay, the court's going to enter a not guilty plea on her behalf. Is there anything else to bond? No. Well, hold on, just the people. Your Honor, Anything people would just ask for a high, high cash personal bond with a no driving restriction. You just said a high cash personal. High cash or half a uh, high personal? I'm sorry, a high personal, Your Honor. To a personal, this is charges and misdemeanor, no objections to the no driving. Uh, Ms. Johnson is employed as a bus driver with no children, and we don't have any cases history. Um, so, yeah, she was with no objections. Yes, we are respectfully asking the court to adopt. With no driving restrictions? Sorry, no objections. Well, ma'am, we are going to start with the with the condition of no driving. The court um, has reviewed the investigative report. He finds it quite troubling, obviously. But beyond that, the court sees that in 2015, you were involved in a traffic crash resulting in a fatal injury that there have been crashes either with a bus or your personal vehicle in 2018, two in 19, one in 20, one in 21, one in 22, and then we have this matter today. So the court does find you, you to be a danger. Court finds you to be a danger, ma'am. And in this matter, actually, I appreciate the people's recommendation of a high personal bond. The court feels that maybe there should be um, a cash surety bond set in this matter. Your Honor, man. Yes, go right ahead. So the time to zoom in, which they don't on all cases. And when they did, they asked for a personal one, Your Honor, which I think speaks a lot because they could have asked for anything. They wanted to ask for a, for a high personal. Um, they thought that was reasonable. I understand that the court doesn't want to adopt the recommendation of the people, but they asked for that for a reason, Your Honor. Um, it is an, an unfortunate uh, event, but the whole situation, but it is charging the misdemeanor with a maximum time of one year, and there's not going to be any driving whatsoever for Ms. Johnson, so I am respectfully asking the court to adopt that uh, recommendation of that high personal bond, and if the court is not inclined to do that without the title, then we understand that I will ask for the court to at least consider a high personal bond. Any response from the people? No, Your Honor. <laughs> Court is going to order a, a tether. Is it safe to assume she's not employed at this time? At least not at that particular location. Is she? Miss uh, Johnson, are you currently? Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 like, I'm currently on um, occupational injury. Okay. 
All right, the the, um, the people have requested a personal bond in this matter. The court has some reservations about that, but we've asked again and the people have um, indicated again that they are um, comfortable with a high personal bonds. So, ma'am, your bond is going to be set in the amount of $100,000. It will be a personal bond. You have a pretrial date of August 15th, 2023, 8.30 a.m., 36th District Court in front of Judge Bryant. This has been charged as a misdemeanor. Um, you will have a GPS tether with house arrest. There is absolutely no driving. Okay, you can step away from the camera. Thank you, Anna. Yes, ma'am. What's your name, ma'am? Sure. All right. We are recalling the matter of 2304478, people of the state of Michigan versus Geraldine Johnson. Can I have the appearances again, please? Good afternoon, Your Honor. Sarah Benoma on behalf of the people, P4189. Okay. Yeah, we're recalling Johnson. The court cho is choosing to recall this and make it a di another decision on by. Okay. 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 All right. Before the, um, this matter was before the court just a um, short while ago. And at that time, the judge, uh, the uh, bond was set in the amount of $100,000 personal. The court has uh, made a reconsideration and um, the court is going to set this bond in the amount of $25,000. This is going to be a cash bond. The court does just find that there is, you know, this, uh, that this part, uh, defendant is a serious danger to the community just based on the information that the court read off uh, previously having to do with a number of crashes, um, prior fatal injury, and this being a fatal injury. But um, for the people, is there anything else that you would like to say? No, Your Honor. If I may just inquire as to the crashes that you're speaking about, is that from the investigator's report? It is from the investigator's report. And just to um, be as honest with the court as possible, those some of those crashes, um, I have the actual reports, and the defendant is not at fault. Um, according to the reports that I have. So in February of 2022, that was a vehicle actually hit the hit the bus that she was driving. Um, 2021, um, another a vehicle hit up the parked bus. In November of 2020, another vehicle hit the bus. Um, in 2019, another vehicle hit a pedestrian while getting off the bus. Now, in February of 2019, that is a speeding occurred in the defendant's personal vehicle, which she was at fault for. Um, I believe she received another speeding in 2018 in her personal. And then in 2018, there was a bus, but there was uh, basically he said, she said. The defendant stated the vehicle went into her lane. The vehicle stated the bus went into her, uh, her lane. So I don't know how to choose who's at fault or what what that was. Okay. Okay. And I apologize for saying earlier. I, I, I thought you stated the 2018, which she was at fault. She does have the speeding tickets and she's absolutely, in my opinion, a danger to the community if she's driving. Well, what about the 2015 fatal injury? And the, and absolutely, Your Honor. Yes. That is the, the same charge that she's charged with right now is the violation causing death. Okay. All right. Okay, so the court has heard from the people that a number of these crashes, uh, the defendant was not at fault. However, the one 
that um, most troubles this court is the 2015 um, fatal injury crash. But thank, thank you for clear, uh, clarifying that. Anything from uh, defense counsel? Your Honor, again, I, when you've heard the people, you know, asking for the personal bond, I heard them say that these crashes were not for all purpose. She does drive for the city of Detroit, plus the accidents are not always going to be her fault. They stated that they were her fault. We understand that there was one uh, that was, but I know the court did then give a personal bond just a few minutes ago, and now recall the but I'm still asking the court to consider that personal bond because it is charged as this is the maximum penalty of 93 days. It usually is the number. Okay. Well, this I think this is a one-year misdemeanor. If I, I may be mistaken. No, this is a one-year misdemeanor. <clears throat> it is a one-year misdemeanor. There will be a bond redetermination hearing on June 16th, 2023. That's in two days before Chief Judge Thompson. Okay, thank you for uh, logging back in. APA. Thank you, Anna. Okay. All right, ma'am, you may step away from the camera.